Hello there, this is D, and welcome to Uneven. Today is Sunday. I recorded another podcast earlier this morning. First ones I'd done in about a week or so. I am, um, again, sitting in my car. I have gotten my chai and heading back home, and I thought I'd pull over and do one more quick podcast just to say hi. Last one was a relaxation episode, and it really helped get me in a good good mood, and I'm still there. And so I thought I'd take a moment and pull over and say hi. Today is Super Bowl Sunday, and for those of us who are football fans here in the U.S. and around the world, are fans of NFL, this is a cool day because it's all the hype that goes into it, it's excitement, it's fun to watch all the stuff leading in, and if your team is in it, like my team is, the Kansas City Chiefs, um, then you're really pumped. Now, I know there's a lot of people out there who really don't like the Chiefs, and I respect that. And some of you even feel the NFL is rigged, and there's a lot of conspiracy theories about that. And while I may disagree with you, especially when it comes to the Chiefs, um, that's your choice, and I'm not about to start that argument here. (laughs) But being a Chiefs fan, I'm excited because my team is in. And I'll admit, They didn't play that great this year. They were up and down, but they seem to play better in the playoffs. And I think they're doing well, and I'm rooting for them today. I'm excited about it. I'm getting together um, with family. Shanna and I are heading up to her sister's house in Greeley, Colorado, and we're going to watch that there and watch it with some other fans. I'm bummed that my brother-in-law's team, Detroit Lions, didn't get in because it would have been great to have seen Detroit versus Kansas City, and we could have had this rivalry going, and I I was really rooting for them for that. But but still, um, looking forward to the Kansas City playing the Super Bowl. And it's that kind of little things. It's these moments that I'm just going to enjoy. I'm just going to enjoy them. It's finding those moments to enjoy. It is so often we get caught up and we get overwhelmed. I mentioned that in the previous one. We've had work at our house um, constantly this week. And this one small project in our bathroom turned into a massive project. It got to cost us a bunch of money. We got to re-gut out the, like, half the bathroom. It's been crazy. And it's caused stress. And it's caused all this extra stuff going on. That's one of the reasons why I hadn't recorded a podcast in a bit. I got caught up and it was hard to find a moment of restfulness where I could chat with you. And so today I'm going to record two quick episodes here in the car. This is the second one of those episodes and because this is where I could find a little bit of peace. My wife might be wondering where I'm at (laughs) since this trip to the grocery store to get a couple items and get my chai in the morning took a little longer than normal, but she can text me and she knows where I'm at and I'll be home soon. But I have to take some time for myself and to reflect on the day and the things that'll happen in the day and the things I'm looking forward to in the day and and being in the moment and just enjoying all the different pieces of the day. Something I'm not always that good at. I'm often not good at it at all, but I try, and I try to take these moments to pull myself out of the chaos and just say, hey, it's good to simplify the life, to not get so overwhelmed, and that's what I wanted to mention really quickly today is, boy, overwhelm is probably one of the most consistent moods, mindsets I'm in. I feel overwhelmed a lot. Too much going on, too much to do. I'm always behind. I always want to get things done. I don't do things that are healthy for me because I'm too busy, too many other things happening. And yet, in the whole in the whole realm of human busyness, mine is moderate, maybe even light compared to many. I know some people who have far busier lives than I do. And maybe it's relative. Maybe it's based on what you're used to. I think that's probably true too. But for each person, the degree that they can handle chaos and craziness and overwhelm varies. 
I have some neurological damage from benzos, I have heightened anxiety, I have ruminating thoughts, I have all this kind of fun stuff, and it doesn't help me when I'm dealing with a busy schedule. And so I have to find some tools and use some tools to pull myself back and say, wait a minute, I'm getting a little heightened here. This is a little too much for me. I need to pull back and say, okay, Take something off my plate. I'm not going to do this right now. I want to enjoy today. I don't want to be in this mindset of, oh my God, today is just crazy. Because I'm there too often. For me, this fresh snowfall we had here in Colorado was a good reminder because to me, snowfall, snow is peace. I know that's probably not the case with everybody, but for me, a fresh snowfall is often very peaceful, and it helps me to slow down a bit, it helps me to relax a bit, it helps me to realize that, hey, I get to decide what I do. I get to decide what's on my plate. Yes, I have responsibilities, and I think it's important to make sure I meet those responsibilities, but I get to decide what responsibilities I take on. And I don't have to always say yes, even though that's my usual tendency. So just check yourself out. Watch for overwhelm and watch it come in. And we're going to talk more on overwhelm on this podcast because it is a significant factor with those of us who deal with mind looping and anxiety and all the kind of things that go with that. I know so many people that struggle with overwhelm, and I am definitely one of them. And as I figure that out, as I figure out some solutions for that, I want to share them with you, and maybe you'll share with me things you found that help too. For me, the same thing I was talking about in the podcast I recorded earlier this morning, and that is, Take a step back. Reevaluate things. Figure out what your priorities are for the day, for the week, for the year, for your life. Just have an idea of what those are. And realize everything outside of those top one, two, three priorities is not that important. For me, my priorities are my home life with my wife and her family and my family, this podcast that I do, the site that I keep up and helping other people struggling with anxiety, life, and being human, being a good friend to my friends, and trying to monetize things a little bit here or there along the way to help support us financially. But those are my primary goals. They're not lofty. They're not huge. I have found a lot of joy in those things and spending time with the people I love and doing the work that I love. There it is. There it is. Those two things. And that helps us to organize and figure out how we should lay out our day, our week, our year, our life. All right, I better head home and let my wife know that I didn't fall off a cliff somewhere. <laughs> Happy Super Bowl Sunday to everybody. Um, I know this is going to hit you much later than Super Bowl Sunday, so that's not going to mean anything to you. <laughs> I don't even know who wins the game today because we're not there yet. But I just got to say, go Chiefs. Um, and if you're a 49ers fan, hey, I respect your team too, and I wish you well. I just want my team to win. That's that. That's all it comes down to. Step back, everybody. Take it a little bit easier today and just realize some of the things that we're stressing about really aren't that important. We can let some of the little things go and lighten our load. 
I love you all. Talk to you soon. Take care. Bye. Hey, this is D. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out our podcast. I do need to remind everyone that this podcast is for informational purposes only and should never be considered medical, psychological, or professional health advice of any kind. If you or someone you know is dealing with significant mental health issues, please seek professional help. Resources can be found in our show notes and on our website at unevenpodcast.com. Take care of yourself, and I'll catch you on the flip side.